amateur photographer Evan Adegahel and welcome to another raw file edit of the week. Uh, this is the week's picture. Um, so yeah, um, I'm thinking of uh, cropping this one because I feel like the part on the top here is a little bit unnecessary and just distracting. So I'm going to pull it down and something like this. Uh, yeah, here we go. I think that will work well. Yeah, that works. So I'm not sure if I'm going to go all black and white or uh, colors this time. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe doing both. Uh, so yeah, first of all, just going to just the exposure a little bit up. Uh, yeah, with about one stop. Uh, then adding blacks, uh, yeah, something like that. Uh, clarity, always a oh, little too much. Important not to have too much clarity because that just looks stupid. Uh, add some contrast, what? Oh, yeah, something around seventy, I think, will work. Uh, white balance in this picture, I think it's pretty all right from before, so I'm not going to touch that. I think, or yeah, maybe a little more green, just a little. So this is how it looks so far, before and after. Uh, tone curve, I think I'm going to leave it. Uh, just uh, add a little on the mount. oh sorry. Just uh, this is my default sharpening and it Really, does the job good. Noise reduction uh, not needed. So yeah, uh, this grayscale part, I never convert the picture to black and white here, but like I like to, because it gives you a feel on how the black and white picture is going to be. So you know, I like uh, testing it out and see if I'm going to go black and white and uh, stuff. So I think I'm going to make a black and white version as well. So yeah, uh, split toning, not going to touch that, because every time I do it I mess it up, lens correction, no needed, uh, not, no need of any grain either, maybe yeah, a little vignetting, that uh, looks good, just going to adjust the mind point, here was something like that, it looks great, and then we're going to go open image to get it open in Photoshop. Here we go, um, yeah. So I'm just going to add the levels layer um, to make it just make it pop a little more. Uh, so yeah, that makes a difference and a great difference. Um, I don't think I'm going to do much more with the color version. I'm uh, just going to adjust the file and so it's a little bit smaller. Um, and yeah, uh, then we're going to save it, save as raw file 53 color and make it JPEG and click save. Yeah, high is good enough for this image. Um, and uh, then it's we're going to delete the levels layer because now we're going to make the black and white version. Uh, so just add an uh, black and white adjustment layer. Um, the recent uh, so the reds here won't af will affect most of the shadows. Uh, so we're going to pull that a little down because I want it a little darker because it's a little bright now. Uh, yellow will be his skin, so if you pull it down, it won't get too dark. But have some details in here as well. Um, Greens will be the shadows behind him. They, I will pull them all down because I don't need them. Cyan shirt, the lines here. I make them strong with pulling them down to black. Uh, jacket darker, more detail. And the magenta, uh, pull it down as well to make the jacket even darker. 
his face maybe a little lurk but we'll maybe take a look at that later um, adding a level slayer again adjusting and adjusting yep that looks good uh, brightness contrast giving it giving it even more contrast and uh, some brightness but I'm going to make a take the a black brush and paint all over his clothes and uh, the background because I only wanted that layer to affect the face to make that a little brighter so as you see that makes a, makes a difference because his face stands more out and uh, I'm maybe going to sharpen this a bit up uh, uh, filter oh you have to select the right layer before first filter uh, when they're or sharpens or any and uh, smart sharpen and I'm think I'm going to make this really really sharp something like that uh, put that mount on 100 and ready zoom on pixel uh, it's normally too big to use I think, uh, but uh, in this black and white photo, it works. Even though uh, it will have that over-edited look, at least in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, uh, so that was it. Thanks for watching, and if you like uh, the raw file edit of the week videos, uh, check out my channel. I have about uh, five or six more edits of them, and there are more to come as well. And also check out frognosephoto.com for some killer content. Thanks for watching, bye.